In this video, I will show you how we can integrate our 360 panorama images into web pages and how we can create floor plans. What you can see here on the screen is a floor plan where we can see where we are located on the slopes. So I can go to the other view and can switch the view. So that's important for the skiers. They uh, mostly use a map like this to see the different slopes where they are located so they can find directly on this image the slopes they are interesting for them. Another important point is that we have desktop and mobile web views so that's uh, very complicated to integrate the, the panoramas. I will show you this here so we can have different views that's the, the mobile view. I can go back to the desktop view. So that's very important that we have this possibility to integrate in the same web page the two views, the desktop and the mobile view. And as you can see, it switches between the panoramas. So that's also very important to integrate. Before we start to publish our panorama, it's important that we check it. I use uh, Affinity to do so. We can change the layer projection and go into, an, into a 360 view, as you can see here. That's one of the, the big difference between Photoshop and Affinity. Affinity has completely new programmed the 3D kernel. Uh, Photoshop used uh, until today OpenGL and they will stop the 3D um, beginning of this year. So it's uh, important that we can zoom in to check really uh, if the panorama is perfect. And that's one of the big advantage of the Mavic 3. For this shooting I had no one correction to do. So it was very impressive the result we, we get with this new uh, drone. So you can really zoom in, you see here the, the speed of, of the view. You can also check <coughs> the quality of the image if you zoom in. And that's always important before you publish on website uh, your view that you check it. If you publish your panoramas on Facebook, the size is about 10,000 pixels per line. On Google Street View, it's about 12,000 pixels per line and <clears throat> if you do it yourself like I will show you later you can use the full resolution. In Affinity you have the possibility to add uh, images on the Nordir text or what you like and you can also check the, the Zenith so that's also important and you can directly edit it in this view. I have some other videos where you can see how we edit images in Affinity. Now let's go to the topic, how we can publish our 360 views. I use a Pano 2 VR Pro to do this. I will explain later what we can do on the screen. I will use this image for my floor plan. So it's the official image uh, from Hasliberg. I can see all the slopes. I will integrate it uh, as a floor plan into Pano 2 VR. Now, first step to do is to integrate our panoramas. As you can see, I will use two uh, panoramas for this tour. And at the beginning, you have here some uh, remarks. At the start, what you can see, we have here for each image the size. I will now change for each view the description. I will enter a title and a description. I use directly the location. And as you can see, 
it changes the image uh, name that's very important so we can uh, directly see what we are working on so i will repeat this now for each image now i've entered the description of each panorama and if we go to the tour map we can now see our panoramas our views on the map but what we will use is a different map the slopes map from this uh, region and we can enter this here we can add a new map go on floor plan and here you can see the floor plan now what's important that we have no longer our panoramas on this view that's normal as we have no gps uh, coordinates for this view but we can always go back <coughs> see where we are located to check uh, our views <coughs> now we will not correct the north of these images as it is different on a map it's completely different uh, on this view so we cannot use the same system now how uh, i get the panoramas onto this uh, floor plan i simply select them and i move them onto the map now we can see <coughs> our views on the floor plan so this is the open tower i took this image about here and the second one uh, Kaiserstadt was at this location now what we can see that the north of the image it's not uh, correct on the view we can see here to align this i use a slope so uh, this one you can see the top of the slope i put it in the middle of the image and it has to be this one this point here so now we can uh, change the view and <clears throat> we can go directly into the middle of this slope so now north is correct for my image if i turn it you will directly see uh, on the map the right view i do the the same for the other panorama so it's uh, completely wrong as you can see i go here onto the top on the alpen tower in the middle of the image you can see it here but i'm pointing uh, down so i will also uh, change this I have to search here is the open tower so I can <coughs> change the view and now it's pointing correct so if I turn my image it's right on the view so I set both north on the, the floor plan if you go uh, back to the standard map it's uh, completely wrong but that's not uh, important for us as we do not use a map we use a floor plan so next step uh, is to link uh, these two uh, panoramas we have here <coughs> the possibility to do that full automatically in both ways and then you can see here where it is the other panorama so we can <coughs> here switch between the two uh, panoramas so uh, next step is to add a uh, lens flare
I use uh, the sunlight. We do that for both panoramas. And now you can see I have no, no question mark, no alerts between these two uh, images. It's all correct. And here, number one, that means the uh, tour will start with this view here. You can change that if you like, but I will stay on, the, on this image here to start the tour. If we click here on floor plan, you get this view here. So I can um, enter a title for this map. If you use different uh, floor plans, it's more easy to, to find your floor plan. So I entered that is a ski slope map. So it's very easy to find. Now we entered all the data, so we can go to the output. I will uh, do a HTML5 output. Now we will enter some animation. So we will have a fly in, auto rotation. We have to go very slow for each image. So we have a fly in, auto rotation. <coughs> On the HTML output, we can leave everything like that. And we use the normal skin for this uh, output. I added the floor plan on the top of my 360 panorama view. So for this, we go into the skin editor. We add a map. Now I change the position to the top uh, right corner. Change the distance to the window. <coughs> And I can change the size of the window, of the map. And now, <clears throat> important point, we do not use uh, Google uh, Map View. So we have to change that on floor plan. If you don't do that, uh, you will have here a simple, simple map. And I changed also the color to blue from my radar. So now the radar is customized to blue, not red. Red is a, a little bit too uh, much color on the screen. So I choose uh, blue for my radar. So that's quite all we have to do. <clears throat> we have to uh, save this skin and you get directly the name of your skin you saved. So that was it. Now we can uh, start the output from our panorama. You can have a preview after you have uh, created all the data. So you can directly check here in Pano 2 VR the output of your data. I prefer to use my own Python web server. So first we have to get into the output directory from our panorama. And then <clears throat> from here, we start a web server. That's very easy with Python. Now I started my server. And that, that's what we get from Panot VR as a result from my index HTML. Now <clears throat> let's see a little bit more in detail how this file works. Let's go into the index HTML. First we have some style sheets. So it's a full screen and we have some fixes for Mac OS. And then <clears throat> we have the Pano to VR player. 
JavaScript and the skin JavaScript. Here inside you can see the configuration from the container for the player. So this file we do not correct. So that's a typical desktop and mobile view in the same HTML file. They are completely uh, independent. Now let's see how we do that. So first I use the same style sheets, but for the overflow only X is hidden. I still use the vertical scroll bar, that's very important. And if you have a look where we are pointing int, it's an object, HTML5 object, where I uh, point directly to the index, um, HTML, the index HTML file. So that's very easy to do here for the desktop view and here for the mobile view. For both, we have a container with different sizes. So that's very easy. And we use only one file with all the JavaScripts, the index HTML file, like it was created from Pano to VR. So it's really simple to do. Now a few words to the Mavic 3. It's very amazing, the image quality and also the noise. I had no complaints about surrounding people and also the stability, even if on the windy condition, it's really amazing. Actually, we have to do the panorama ourselves as the actual uh, software and firmware version is not capable to do so. But I think at the end of January that will be implemented like on other aircrafts. Let me know if you need some other informations. You can put it in the comment and thanks for watching until the next time.